The problem that most people have when they're trying to buy their first hi-fi system is they think that they need to spend a whole bunch of money to get good sound and features. This is $1,500 and this is $123. So the Weem amplifier is a streamer. It's a DAC, and don't worry if you don't know what this stuff means, we're gonna come back to it later. It's, it's a preamp, and it has bass management. One of the most important things that it has is an EQ, because an EQ covers up a lot of sins when it comes to cheap speakers. And it has an HDMI, which means you can watch TV and movies, all for the low, low price of... So this doesn't come from me. This comes from John Darko. Tell me an amplifier that includes a music streamer that has as complete of a feature set as the Weem amplifier does for $100 more, for $200 more. The takeaway is that this amplifier can do AirPlay, it can do Chromecast, it can do Spotify Connect, Tidal Connect, Amazon Music, Kobas, Deezer, Internet Radio, all the stuff. So you can listen to literally anything on it. And it's $300. And this is the foundation of our cheap audiophile system. Ah, the Sony's probably my favorite speaker of all time. Does it sound the best? No, is it the best speaker I have in the house? No, but it is probably the highest value when it comes to speakers. Now, you can get this speaker for around $123, fairly often. The price does fluctuate between about $100 occasionally, $123 and then up to about $180. But don't buy it unless it's $123. And a lot of times you can get crazy deals on Amazon Warehouse for less than $123. The speaker is a two and a half way. It has three drivers, but one of those drivers is a super tweeter. Now, some people will say that this speaker isn't perfect when it comes to the frequency response. Well, if you don't like it, you can use the 10 band EQ within the Wii map. So if it's too spicy on top, you can bring down the treble. Not enough bass, bring up a 125 hertz and it's gonna go boom boom. Point about these speakers is that I believe personally that this is the best value speaker in hi-fi thousands of people would agree with me is it everybody's cup of tea no do some people think it's terrible yes but if you have a better speaker at 123 dollars put it in the comments <laughs> I briefly talked about it before, but bass management is where this amplifier shines. Actually more capable than most amps, costing double, triple, four times the cost. What you can do with bass management is send the lows to the subwoofer and the highs to the speaker. If you have a subwoofer, I would start with 80 hertz. Really, you can probably do 70 hertz on this speaker and be just fine. So with bass management, you can stretch the 60 watts on this amplifier a little bit further. 
Amp is rated at 60 watts into 8 ohms, 120 watts into 4 ohms. Now, it has the Texas Instruments 3255 amp chip inside. And in my opinion, and this is going to be a reoccurring theme, it is the best value in hi-fi. It sounds very natural. The Weem amp has an internal power supply, so you don't have to worry about those cumbersome power bricks. And maybe this amp doesn't have all the current in the world. Maybe it can't power every speaker in the world, but it's $300. And our expectations should be somewhat reasonable. You can also do whole home audio with this device. You can buy a whole bunch of these. But you know what? You'd be better off just buying a whole bunch of Weem amps and some Sony speakers. Think about this for a moment. All in this package is $423. You gotta buy speaker cables, I get that. You gotta pay tax, I get that too. Let's call it 500. For $1,500, you can have three systems throughout your house all playing the same music at the same time. So when you walk out of your bedroom into the kitchen to make a pot of coffee and eat a plate of cinnamon rolls for breakfast, the same song is playing at the same time. And if you're anything like me, you don't want to interrupt the heretic anthem by Slipknot when you're walking from your bedroom into the kitchen. I have done a bunch of these videos. The problem is products keep getting better and better and I don't think there has ever been a better value in amplification and features than the Weem Amp. Again, if you know of something, put it down in the comments. The Sony SSCS5 always comes back because it checks the most boxes when it comes to an affordable speaker and it sounds incredible and is exciting. And I would argue that it's probably the best first speaker for an aspiring audiophile. I could be wrong, I often am, and if I am, put it down in the comments. Make sure you check out this last part. It might make you laugh, it might not. Listen, I don't wanna have this conversation again. I got a ton of work to do. Why? I tell you the same thing over and over again. Of course I like spending time with you. It's not my fault you can't be in the living room. You have a glass front. You saw what happened with the Nerf gun and the window. I am not locking you away. Fine. You really want to have this conversation? Let's have the conversation. It does more than you at a tenth of the price. It has bass management, it has a high pass filter, it has a 10 band EQ, it has a streamer built in. Do you have that? you have any of that? Oh, and I can put it on the bookshelf next to your mom's dolphin statue, the one where it's coming out of the water. I could put you on there if I wanted to melt the statue and then have the bookshelf collapse under your weight. Sorry, sorry, you're not fat. You just heavy and inefficient because of your class A bias. Why are you even talking like this? I've made like seven videos about you. I want to spend more time with you, but it's more convenient. And if anything happened to you, I would never forgive myself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know quality time is your love language. Let me make it up to you. I know you've had your eye on that pretty audio quest power cable okay tomorrow i'll get it for you so needy also check this video out the more in-depth review of the weem amplifier thank you so much for watching